So how great has this Disney run been for you between uh, Avengers, which is coming to an end, and the Skywalker saga, which is also coming to an end? Well, I think the road to blockbusters goes through IMAX. So there's no doubt that these phenomenal blockbusters are terrific for us. But, you know, the blockbuster business isn't going away because two franchises are going away um, in the interim. So next year, if you go forward, Marvel has two new movies, new franchises. They're teeing up. There's a Top Gun next year coming out, Wonder Woman 2. Um, Dune later in the year, all filmed with IMAX cameras. So you know you mourn them. But I've been doing this Do for tw I've been doing this for 25 years, and there's always another one. Is it a rebuilding year? Because these were record-setting franchises that are indeed coming to it. So so can that just be easily replaced or grown upon? I don't think you can look at it in a one-year stretch. I mean, for IMAX, the last two years were global records for us. And part of the reason is we're a global company. Only one third of our business is in North America. So China had an unbelievable box office. We were up 20 percent this year. And it, that included a sci-fi film and an animated film. So if you look at global box office, I think it's pretty well positioned. But what happens with all these streaming services coming online? Disney's a great example, right? You got Disney Plus. They've absolutely dominated the box office this year. What is it going to do to theatrical windows, and what is it going to do in terms of what's offered on the big screen versus what's offered in your living room? So, Morgan, I think that's a false narrative, that it really affects the box office. Um, when Stranger Things opened, Spider-Man opened, and it was a record weekend. When Game of Thrones opened up, Endgame opened, and it was a record weekend. And if you look at any of the data, Netflix subscribers go to the movies more than non-Netflix subscribers. So I think it's different kind of movies. Like, streaming is a phenomenal... But you are t talking to the streaming companies as well, right? Sure, but it's, streaming is a wonderful way to launch a movie. It's a wonderful prestige platform. And even if you look at The Irishman this year, how did Netflix launch it? In theaters. How did they show it to critics? In theaters. When you People loved it. In theaters. When you got into the data, um, some people reported that only 18 percent of the people got through the movie watching it at home. And I just don't think top directors like J.J. and others are going to make movies for the TV set. It's a social experience. It's yeah. a way to go with your friends. I mean, Star Wars today is a cultural event, right? This and is a big cultural deal. You, you go watch it in your living room with your parents, right? I don't think so. <laughs>